Rose, the film uh, Dance Film from Netherlands. Uh, the woman is in three different uh, kind of rooms, three different points of view. She's very flexible, that's for sure. Exactly. That was the fascinating part about it. And she was so wild. So wild into the urbanized area or at the last scene in the other uh, tree. True, true, true. Yeah. And I was really felt related to to her because of the movements and all the we were all trying to make it, right? Even even in the as much as we got urbanized and but when I was seeing the movements under that tree, I was like, that's where you belong. And yeah, you know what I mean? And sometimes we forgot where we came from. Whenever she was dancing, I could get what she was thinking just by watching her. And her face had a lot of um, expression in it to explain what she was thinking. That's probably one of the, I mean, I've seen ballet, live ballet this year, but that was just brilliant. I mean, it's just, you can feel her and what she was thinking. Oh, her mannerisms, when he went really close to her, you can you see that was brilliant. The camera work was astonishing. Like the way it managed to capture the movement, the way it was so fluid, like hats off to the person who was coming to I, I also wanted to co comment on cinematography. Like it captured the intimacy of the dance really well. And the, the lighting and the setup, the colors were beautiful and it was all captured beautifully with the camera. But it seemed like he was really focusing on her neck and she had some amazing striations, muscles going different ways in her neck. As a student of anatomy, I definitely appreciated the work that they put into this work. It's uh, usually the face and the facial expressions that tell you who the person is and what they're thinking. And it was almost like her head, she, her face was completely expressionless. And it was almost like her body, it, it, it just happened, her, her head was just, you know, it was just coincidental that it was there, but the body, the body was the driving force. It, it's interesting because I just thought Floria Sigismundi the whole time I saw that. It just reminds, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Floria's work, but she, um, she was a, a, a video uh, producer and has a, a scary movie coming out um, and it just reminded the dancer reminded me of a spider and it was sort of it, it looked like she had died and um, came back to um, for me the film is coming from Netherlands so the first scene or the first set of dancing it was more like the Berg style and she was rebelling against it through dancing like all the stereotype of uh, roses and mask and like high society then the second room, okay, you should be here in this fancy, but she was like trying to be a baby. So there's a phase of the European history where women, they were just cornered in a very dark place. The third scene, it was more grounding. And if you notice from her dancing, it was all the time about her legs, very grounding in the soil. So it's kind of like, okay, she's back to the mother nature. Yeah.